Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to make today a Christmas dinner made of stuffed boneless chicken, also called a galatine or ballantine of chicken. So I bought a chicken 1.2 kilogram. And now we're going to debone it. First, we can cut in the back and then slowly we cut the chicken meat away from the bones. Take your time for it. You are not in a hurry. So, moved the chicken to another cutting board. Cut the top bones away because we're going to fill it. And now we're going to start to make the filling. So, the filling or fuss. And uh, to make the fuss uh, stiff, we use some panade, and that is a mixture of bread and eggs. I just wrote down all the ingredients. Take your time and mix everything together. And I used ready sausages. Of course, the frosted took the skin off, and I added the lard and the ingredients. Mix it nice and put it away in the fridge. So while well, the chicken and the filling is resting in the fridge, we're gonna cut some Savoy cabbage or green cabbage because I want to roll it in so that we have a little bit of color in our filled chicken. So with a little knife, we just cut away the big leaves. The top leaves I throw away. That is a little bit too hard, but then the big leaves I keep. And then the hard parts, the stems, I also cut away. And we're going to blanch the leaves for two minutes in boiling water so that it is flexible, so that we can roll it in. See, beautiful leaves and then... So for blanching, of course, a pan with boiling water and I've got a bowl. Ice cold water. After it's blanched for two minutes, I cool them down into the ice water, so that I can use them directly. So, after I cleaned the leaf, I used a towel and put the leaves on it and then I smeared the filling on the leaves and the leaves were laid down as roof pans so that we can roll it in. I don't have a video of it because I didn't realize that the battery was empty of the camera. So, I'm going to make now a uh, private intermezzo. I bought this uh, halogen oven because my normal oven is in reality too big for a small family for me. Uh, very easy to work with and very great results with it. So the farce that we made First, I smear it in the holes of the wings where I took out the little bone and also where I took out the bone downstairs at the leg. Nice, I fill it up so that it doesn't look like an empty jacket. So, here are the blanched cabbage leaves that I filled also with the farce and where the video is missing because the batteries was empty. Sorry, but I think you guys see what the point is. Then we put it in the middle of the bag and we will fill up the chicken. Thin, where it has to be thin, thicker, of course a little bit more in the back. And then we just come on fill up the chicken and close the winter jacket with roulade rope we're gonna 
tie it up to chicken. You can also arrange at the butcher an roulade sock so that you can put it around it. In the past we just closed it and folded it in a towel and then pushed it first. But because I don't have those facilities right now, I just bind it all up as best as you can. I start with the wings and then slowly the rope goes down the belly and up. But not in one piece. Every little piece I cut off and I make a new little rope. So the front is done and now we start in the back and you see I use the rope like a saw on a cutting board and then I'm going to close up and not the back. So nice tight, repeat that to three times so that the whole chicken is roped. So the last pieces of rope, also I put a piece of rope on the spot that it was open, only the front, yeah, you just push it in with your fingers and then it goes on a baking tray now in this case a round baking tray and I put some greasy paper underneath and I put some oil over it and you can do it with a spray or you just do it the old-fashioned way and put some olive oil on top and with a brush you smear it out and then it's ready to go in the oven and in a halogen oven on 175 degrees for one hour. So while the chicken is in the oven we can start to prepare our vegetables and potatoes. Clean the sprouts and we cook them for five minutes. Now we can start with the carrots and the parsnip. So the carrots we peel on the same length as the parsnip and cut them in four. And when the sprouts are done we can blanch these both two times four minutes. So another tray ready with aluminium foil with the blanched carrots, parsnips and of course with the sprouts. But over the parsnip and over the carrots I'm going to put some honey and then they also can go in the oven. So after the chicken is grilled we put the veggies in the oven and put it on for 15 minutes. So the veggies are almost done and then let's cut the chicken. We have the sprouts, the potatoes and the yogis I made before we started and then we can make a nice plate with our food. And yes, gravy I also separate with a little bit of pisto. Just a video of a simple but a beautiful Christmas meal. Now Merry Christmas everybody and share your love, your thoughts and maybe also this video with friends.